The estimated cost for this 500-mile railroad system is $100 billion. So I began to wonder how this budget compares to the final price tag of other large public works projects. In today's currency values, the final construction cost of the Panama Canal was $8 billion. This massive 30-year project connected the Atlantic to the Pacific via a man-made 51-mile channel, completed in 1914. It literally cut thousands of miles of sailing distance for ships that would have otherwise had to round the horn in treacherous waters. The American Civil War's adjusted cost is $75 billion. This bloody conflict raged for four years, profoundly changing our nation and the nature of warfare forever. The Apollo Moon Program was a 10-year scientific adventure that employed 400,000 workers and shattered the boundaries of science and imagination on a stupendous and breathtaking scale. Its estimated final price tag? $135 billion. But by far, the best bang for the buck has to be our U.S. Transcontinental Railroad. Started in 1863 and completed six years later, this 1,700-mile line through some of the most daunting terrain on the continent cost just $50 million at that time. $50 million in 1869. Want to see how much high-speed railroad $50 million will buy us today? The plan is to start construction in Central California. be stupid and we'll listen to the critics and we'll fix things uh, and we'll do uh, the right thing and we're not going to uh, go overboard uh, we're going to be very careful and build incrementally as we go 50 million dollars for a quarter mile of track 37,500 dollars for each foot or 200 million per mile we love trains too but our governor puts it best we're going to build but we're not going to be stupid Thank mm -hmm. you.